it. Welcome back to the Collective Clips where you already know we get it in. But before we get it in, let's hit that like and subscribe button. Ding. Put your notification bell on all. Ding. So that way you're directed in the direction of the dope content that I am kicking. And I highly appreciate all the support, man. We're going up on this channel. It's all because of you. For that, I could sound very humbled and very appreciative. Couldn't do without you. Are you guys ready for Superwood? Well, fuck yeah, we're ready, brother. I seen on your other channel, brother, you talked about all my wood camaradas that got locked up. Oi, comrades! I'm glad I didn't get caught up on the case, but I got coffee. Here's a bag of Keef. It's what I can do for you, brother. And uh, hopefully I can get my old lady to bring some meth in there for you and everybody's going to see all right. So look, we're going to get into a super wood, but this is a different type of super wood. I'm introducing Super Bulldog. So are you guys ready? Super wood meets Super Dog. Or he already met him, but I got to meet him. So here's how it went down, right? So of course, me and Roach, homeboys, Conrads, right? Just just the, the boy boy, right? The, the, the boy boy sometimes that acted like a boy boy, right? He was just a little different. Um, he called me over to his pad one day and I had to go over there anyways. I owed him a, a nice little stack of money. And it seemed like when I owed him money, the phone calls were in abundance. You ever got someone that calls you like over and over and over and over and over again? Okay, well, you guys ain't never met a tweaker, right? Because <laughs> them motherfuckers will call you all day. Brother, you got my money? Hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just calling you to say uh, you got my money, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be by there in a little while. Five minutes later, hey, brother, are you on your way? Yeah, I'll be there. You know, you're at the taco truck eating and shit. You know, you always tell everyone, yeah, I'm on my way, I'm on my way, but you're like an hour out. He's like, hey, brother, uh, you know, not to, not, not to mean to break your balls, brother, but uh, do you got my money? Like, yeah, bro, I got your money. Yeah, I know, brother, you got my money, but like, do you got, got my money? Like, yeah, I have your money. Yeah, I know you got your money, but see, I don't got the money. So I need you to get over here so that I have the money that you got, brother. See, you got it. I'm trying to get it. Like, so anyways, I make it over there with this stack of money and he's all happy. He's counting hundreds and fifties. And I'm trying to look at this tweaker chick he has there and she has saggy titties. Everything, everybody was winning. And he's like, hey, brother, there's uh, one of my partners is going to come. I'm going to introduce you to him. I think he's in Norteño. I was like, oh, you did with the other homeboys? He's like, yeah. I said, that's cool. That's what's up, bro. I didn't know you fucked with the homies like that. I really don't. I really don't like you motherfuckers. I really fuck with the Serenios. But uh, this guy, he's, he's yeah, he's got a lot of feria, right? I'm like, a lot of feria? Feria, brother. Feria, feria, whatever the fuck you fucking Mexicans say, right? So this dude pulls up. He's a white dude. I'll never forget, he's a white dude, scraggly ass hair, fucking tattoos all over his face. And as I start to look, as he starts to walk up, I'm like, oh, hell no. Nah. I get a defensive stance. This Volta got dog paws all over his face, right? And at first, from a distance, I thought they were like fucking teardrops or something, but they were actually dog paws. And so I'm looking, I'm, I already know. I already know. So he was like, hey, meet my homeboy, man. You know, this is a good dude and shit, man, brother, right? And he was like, he's like a Norteño. On steroids. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck is this, right? And he was like, hey, what's up, dog? And I was like, oh, let me get this. A white bulldog with a whole bunch of fucked up ass tattoos. Yeah, it's not a cliche. So I'm like, hey, what's up with you, bro? Where you from? He's like, Isa Fresno 14 bulldog. I'm like, okay, yeah, you can take the 14 out of that because you guys aren't that anymore. So I, I, I immediately, my motherfucking antennas went up. His fucking ears went up. My antennas went up. So I'm like, hey, this is Norte, homie, right? And he was like, and, and I was like, is this a fucking wood or a bulldog? Did he just say, and only bull, hey, only wood say, and bulldogs been like, all right, dog. Right. So I'm like, he's like, and, and I was like, what's up, bro? What's up with you? I'm already like, and, and Roach is like, calm down, brother. Calm the fuck down. Ain't no fighting in my house unless I'm doing it. Ain't no fucking in my house unless I'm doing it. And right now I don't feel like fucking or fight. So right now you're going to give me money. You're going to give me money. Ready? Hike. Right, so I'm like, man, I ain't trying to deal with this dude. Now, back then, I used to have some against the dogs. Like, I fucked with the dog, but I already knew, and I'm pissed as a motherfucker. What's this bulldog doing in Merced? What you have the audacity to be all up in Merced, right? So this bulldog, he's like, yeah, man, Fresno this and Fresno that. I'm like, I'm fucking want to choke you, arr, arr, arr. right? I want to get your ass, right? So he ended up being a cool ass bulldog, super dog. So, anyways. I see him that first time, man. It's a little standoff at the OK Corral. He's cool. I'm cool. Whatever. He ends up kicking it. So I start seeing him several other times, right? And uh, every time, Roach knows now because he told Roach, hey, that's my enemy. Roach didn't know, right? He knew, but he acted like he didn't know, right? So Roach would always say, yeah, brother. Yeah, them fucking bulldogs, brother. They're with the business. Uh-huh. Y'all know about your fucking Norteños. 
but they're like the hybrid version of the Nortenos. Uh -huh, they're the fucking, they're the real deal, brother. Have you ever been to Fresno? Yeah, I got a couple Fresnecs that are my partners over there, and we went one time, and the Bulldogs were doing business with them, and uh, yeah, they laid it all down. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, Bulldogs are with the shit. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but uh, they are, right? And so he'd always give me a hard time. I said, you're going to make me beat your homeboy up. He said, I don't think you can do that, brother. I got $10 right now, says so you can't do that. I said, I got fucking $20. I got $30. I got $40. I said, I'm taking all your money, right? So the bulldog homie comes. And up until this point, we had been cool. We had been civil, okay? So he comes, and I'm th I forgot all about the little bed. I thought we were just bullshitting, right? Roach doesn't forget. A tweaker never forgets. Nothing. Except where they fucking put their syringe. They don't forget nothing, right? He gets there, and of course, I'm like, oh, what's up, bro? He's like, oh, what's up, dog? And I'm like, hey, you can stop calling me dog now, right? Let's just be like, he was like, well, you call me bro. I was like, well, you call me dog. So, again, it's another standoff. So, Roach was like, fuck all that bullshit. Look, you guys are at my house. You said you were going to beat his ass. I was like, I, did I say that? He put me on blast, right? So, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I did say that. That dog was like, man, I'm just Fresno, homie. I ain't no punk. Whew. I took a swing at him. I don't know about you, but where I come from, Fresno Bulldogs have always been known to be able to fight good, right? He takes a swing at me. So, we're, we're, we ain't landing nothing, right? Roach was like, just fucking stop already. It's fucking pathetic. Is a white man going to have to jump in and show you guys how to really punch? Roach, if you don't shut the fuck up, brother, don't disrespect me in my house. His mom's coming out. You better not fucking, you fucking Mexicans and white Mexican. you better not be talking shit. Get your ass in here, tweaker. Right? So I'm like, look, I mean, bro, we can catch the fade if you want. He's like, well, what's up then, dog? And I said, well, oh, shit. Hold up. You're not wood dog today. Today, you're dog dog. Well, let's go, right? So Roach is like, we're going to do this, brother. I ain't going to have no fucking neighbors. Saying that I got fucking Mexicans fighting in my front yard. Well, Mexican and a white man, but you're not really a white man according to what you claim. But we'll accept it for now. Just like accepting food stamps. I really don't want to take them, but fuck it if that's all you got. So we go to the backyard, right? He's like, let's get it on, brothers. <laughs> right? He thought he was Mills Lane. So I'm, I'm ready, right? So the bulldog is swinging. I'm swinging. Boom. He catches me. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That shit hurt my tooth, right? Boom. He catches me. I'm on him. We're tussing and fighting and wrestling. And we were doing more wrestling than we were fighting, right? But this motherfucker had hands. He's catching me. He's catching me. And I'm going to get frustrated. So he's thin. He's sucked up. He's tweaked out the game, right? So I grab him by his fucking face. I'm trying to rip dog paws off his face. And he's literally going, arr, arr, arr. <laughs> I know. Get your fucking ass over here. Look at my cousin Ricky in here because fucking you guys bit him. You bit his ear off. He's got something against you guys. So we get in a fucking big old fight. He leaves me leaking. I fuck his eye up real bad. And everything was cool. That brought us closer together. So I start telling them war stories about, yeah, bro, I fuck with a lot of dogs. I start mentioning a lot of people, and I know he's the real deal because he knows all these people I know. He's like, yeah, bro, I know the homeboy K9 from Pleasant. Yeah, I know the homeboy Brent from here. I know the homeboy from there. And I'm like, is that right? All right, you're a real one then. He's like, yeah, I'm old square 14 or bro. And I was like, yeah, but like, I never heard of you or anything. Like, he has a crazy name. I'm not even going to say his name, but I was like, I never heard of you, bro. And he was like, yeah, 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 bro. I was always locked up and shit. Woo, doing my thing. All right, cool. He's like, I used to be a homie and shit, but you know, you know what it is. You know the politics. I'm like, cool. Roach is like, you know, fuck your guys' politics. You know, you guys want to get high or what, brother? I said, you know, I don't fuck around, Roach. Yeah, I wasn't talking to you. I said, well, you said you guys. Yeah, well, you, you and, and him and his, my, my imaginary friend, brother. You know, you guys don't know? You don't know about him? I'm like, no. He's like, do some of this dope and you'll know, right? <laughs> so anyways... We're kicking back. They get higher than a kite. I'm in the back doing a little yay. The winners are, right? Everyone's high and everyone's happy. And then Roach is like, well, you know, uh, so there's a couple brothers that owe me some money, right? I said, brothers, Woods or Blacks? Do you, do, do I look like I call black guys brother, right? Are they, they my brother? I said, your old ladies. Uh, yeah, well, that's different, brother. Shh, he doesn't know about that, right? That's between us. So I'm like, yeah, well, what's up? He was like, well, there's a couple of good woods, man. Well, they're not really good wood. They're going to be good when they give me my money. But right now they're like, like, like plywood, brother. You know, like rock wood. But they could be good wood again. Uh, you guys want to come with me to pick this money up? And I'm like, not really, bro. I got to go home. Also, yeah, fucking Norteños. Always fucking, uh, I'm just going to go home and just go fuck my old lady with the flat ass, right? And I said, how do you know she has a flat ass? Oh, brother, I know. <laughs> I know, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. I'll go with you. Bulldog, he's tweaked out the game, so he's like, let's go, I'll shoot him. I'm like, oh, fuck, right? So, we cruise. We stop at this store. They want to get a beer. 
And I'm trying to stay low key because I'm in my city. If the homeboys see me and spot me rolling around, first of all, this bulldog ain't going to make it long. Just This motherfucker's just walking around like it ain't nothing. You know, hey, northerners are passing, ding, ding. When he works in the store, uh, walks in the store, they're looking at him, but they're not really saying shit. I'm looking at the car like, get him, kill him, kill him, right? Like, what are you guys doing? Shit, here I am kicking it with them, but, you know, hey, selected like politicking, right? So I'm like, get this motherfucker, right? So anyways, him and Roach get a beer, damn brother, Mickey's, I got me a Mickey's big mouth, right? He's slamming it. I'm like, why you get a big mouth? Shut your big mouth up, brother, right? So they're sipping their, their Mickey's and we pull up to these two woods and they live way out in the country in a little town called El Nido, right? And as we're going down this dirt road, the bulldog's starting to sober up just a little bit, enough where he's telling me, hey dog, he's like, hey dog, I thought I told you not to call me dog. He was like, man, fuck all that. This might be us, right? He was like, where's this fucking crazy white guy taking us? He's white. Okay, he's a white bulldog, but you know, once you join a Mexican gang, you cease to be all that, right? So he's like, oh, those crazy fucking white dude's taking us. I was like, this is your homeboy. He's like, no, it's your homeboy. No, it's your homeboy. We're over here arguing bulldogs and northerners, right? So we get there, okay? And the two most wily coyote looking white guys come out. And then I'm not even tripped. I'm not even intimidated. I'm not tripping at all. I'm like, if I go, they'll fall, right? And they're coming out. They're like, hey, what's up, Roach? Hey, what's up? And now these are tweakers. They're going to get their own series. Super tweakers. These motherfuckers were different. There were two brothers. Two identical twin, tweaking, skinny-ass brothers. I tell you, they look like Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. Meet me. These motherfuckers were different, right? So they come out the house all tweaked out. Hey, what's up, man? What's up? What's up? Hey, Roach. Hey, hey yeah. Well, we ain't got your money, but we, we have a part of it. We have a part of it. He's like, oh, brother, I hope you have the fucking big part. The big part of it. That's already a uh, one, two, three. Like, 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 yeah, like, that's like 300 you owe me, right? I'm like, you brought us all the way out here to the middle of fucking nowhere. Talk about we're going to have to fucking snatch dudes up for three fucking measly hundred dollars. It's the principle, brother. See, I'm white, brother. And when it comes to white men, white men do white men things. And a white man never burns another white man. Right? I said, yeah, but I'm not white. Yeah, brother, but you, but 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 after all that cocaine you did last night, you're damn near. So we get out there, right? Boom. These two dudes are negotiating with them and they're fucking tweaking. One of them's running around the fucking trailer out there. The other one's like, what if we just cook a batch of dope right now? We got, it'll last three days. It's got shelf life, right? And the bulldog's out there and he's like, I feel like just shooting one of these motherfuckers. He gets back into fucking wood, wood dog mode, right? And so one of the dudes, he was like, what the fuck are you? What are those tattoos all over your face? And the bulldog's like, oh, they're dog paws, right? And he's like, what about you, right? And I was like, right, yeah, I'm a Norteño. And he gets white as a ghost. And he's like, a Norteño. And I was like, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, Roach. We don't do business with Norteños, right? And the other guy goes, well, I'm a bulldog, though. And he's like, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck that is. But I know we don't do business with Norteños. Roach, you guys got to get out of here. Roach is like, I will get out of here, brother, with my fucking 300. Or I'm going to get out of here with all your teeth. And he was like, oh, like yours, Roach? Roach was like, the, 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 the myth got away with my teeth. But I'll get away with yours, brother. How the fuck do you guys have teeth and I don't, right? Anyways, these guys end up paying a little bit, enough for Roach to calm his nerves, right? Roach is counting the money. These motherfuckers shorted me 60 bucks, brother. We might have to go back. So we end up leaving. So one day Roach calls me. It's been about a month. I haven't seen the dog. I haven't seen them, you know. Um, I'm still wondering where this fucking bulldog came from. He's talking about, yeah, I live right here in Merced. I'm like, what? Right? No way. No how. Um, but I guess he did. And probably, probably in some alley on 12th Street in the cuts. So anyways, Roach calls me one day. He's like, brother, that fucking bulldog burnt me. Now he's strictly against dogs. Now he hates them. He's like, yeah, fucking Norteños on steroids. The fucking wannabe brothers. Right? I'm like, what? He was like, they fucking, that dude burnt me, brother. I'm like, well, what happened? He's like, oh, I don't fucking want to explain it. He burnt me. I want money, right? I said, well, I want money too. Yeah, but your fucking money that you want is not the same type of money that I get. Or maybe, maybe, maybe sometimes it is, brother. Well, I don't know. I'm broke right now. Can I borrow some money? Right? So he's like, look, we're going to go there. We're going to find this little motherfucker and I'm going to kill him. And I'm like, nah, yeah, I'm not trying to be a part of a murder investigation. Every time I go with you, bro, you always say you're going to do that, but you never really do that. We always end up barbecuing and being friends. Like, I'm not into that today. I just want to relax. So brother, you're going to leave me hanging? You know everything about me. You know that I've been with black women. I said, oh, shit, I didn't know you've been with black women. I thought you were with one black woman. Did I just tell you I've been with plural? Yeah, okay. 
Well, now you know. Um, you guys, you know I got half-breed children. You know everything about me, brother. You even know that that swastika on my lower back is backwards. Look, brother, you know every secret about me. Ride with me. Ride with the white man. March on, brother. March on. I'm like, okay, all right, cool. I'll, I'll go with you. I was like, why, don't, why do you always got to get me? There's You got hella wood, crazy-ass biker homeboys, like motherfuckers that ain't showered it. Like, why don't you call them? Yeah, brother, I can't trust them. Yep, one thing I learned about a white man is we never burn each other, but you can't trust another one. I'm like, I don't get it, right? You don't you guys don't burn each other, um, yet there's a white man here, but he's not a your typical white man. Like I said, he's a, a Nortenio hybrid on steroid uh, slash fucking wannabe white man, but sometimes and sometimes he's not, brother. It's like when he's on meth, he turns white, but when he's not, he's Mexican again, right? Are you going to go or not? I said, uh, are you going to pay me? He's like, I'll hook you with a zip. Let's go. Now, this dude owes him less money than what he's willing to give me to go. So, you know, I'm ready to go. Like, fuck it. I'm going to come up. So, we go. Bulldog wasn't hard to find. He's like, I think he lives up in the alley up here, bro. So, we're going down this alley. And now, you know, California, the alleys in Northern California. I don't know about Southern California, but the alleys in Northern California, there's chicken coops. And people got chicken coops outside the fences in their alleys and shit. There's chickens running across, spray paint all fucked up. You know, I'm seeing a couple of paisas in the back. <laughs> hey, ¿qué pasó? Vámonos a la verga. Sí, sí, sí. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They're, they're smoking a fucking... Uh, they smoke cigarettes like they smoke lanyos. <laughs> a bunch of paisas in the back. So we get off the car and uh, Roach goes up to the paisas. He's like, hey, paisas, uh, where's the white Mexican? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué pasó con el pinche uh, gringo? Right? Where's the white Mexican, brother? Don't make me tell you again before I get you guys illegally deported. I'm like, how are you going to get them illegally deported? They're, they're, they're illegals, brother. I'm like, oh, this motherfucker's too much. The pie says, no, no, no. Este pinche gabacho loco. Es, es, este es un tweaker, right? I'm like, look. So I tell him, hey, ¿qué pasó con este pinche Buddha perro chato? ¿Dónde están? Oh, sí, sí. El, el, el gala? Sí, sí. Ahí, right? So there's a fence. So we go... This is the most disgusting, dirtiest backyard I've ever been in. I thought my tia and Ricky's backyard with all the dog shit was bad. This was 10 times this. This was like the way the jelly beans tasted in Dub's mouth yesterday. It was all bad, right? I'm walking over broken fucking car stereos, dog shit, cockroach juice, meth pipes. I mean, everything is just piled up, right? And this dude's in the backyard with some old man. And this old man is spun. He's a white old man. He's spun out of his mind. The old man's like this. This is exactly how he looked. So we go in the backyard. They got a bonfire. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. Hot as fuck. And they got a fucking bonfire there. The fire, the flame's only this high, right? And Roach is like, I'm going to kill this little motherfucker. I'm going to kill him, right? And so we're, Roach thinks he's a ninja. He's like, brother, just just, just don't make a noise. And he's stepping on dog shit. This is all you hear. Right as he's walking. Fuck, brother. It fucking smells back here. <laughs> right? And I'm walking, and I'm trying to avoid dog shit and fucking broken fucking Barbies. And as I'm walking, you see the flame. It's lit like this. There, and this old man looks like Rumpelstiltskin. He's sucked up. He's old, and he's like this. He's glued to the lawn chair, right? And the bulldog's back there hitting the pipa. <laughs> he's barking his shit. And Roach snatches his dude up by the back of his neck. He's like, hey, Roach, what's up? And he's like, brother, where's my money? He starts going into Theo Pep, uh, Primo Pepe mode. Where's my money? Where's my yeah, what I need? Right? He's like, where's my money, brother? Now, have you ever seen a, a mad white man? I have, right? And mad white men are not white anymore. They turn red. Redder than a red rag, right? He fucking beat red, right? Maybe because of the dog, the dog shit and smelling it. But he grabs him by the back of the neck. He's like, I need my money, brother. And the dude's like, yeah, I got your money right here, Roach. Can I get it in my pocket? Don't wait. Hey, don't move too fast, brother. Right? And he tells me, he's like, what are you going to do? Do something. I was like, what do you want me to do? Sock up the old white man? He was like, no, nah, don't touch him. You're Mexican. He's white. He's better than you. Uh, brother, look. I fucking thought you thought we had a mutual agreement, brother. Should I let the Norteño whip your ass? He's like, I'm down to take a fade, dog. I'm like, what? Right? As so I'm thinking, like, how did I get involved in this? I just came with Roach for the ride and for the fucking zip. So anyways, he breaks bread with Roach. Another month passes. Maybe two, right? And Roach fucking comes to my house and he's like, hey, bro, my mom's fucking pissed. He's like, somebody stole everything in the front yard. 
His mom had like all these statues. She collected statues, like you know the ones of the guy fucking pissing and shit, and all the little gnomes. Well, the bulldog got mad for whatever reason, went on a mission and stole all the shit. And I said, "How do you know?" Because he has all kinds of surveillance cameras, and he's a tweaker, man. His mom says, "Sir, fucking friend with all the dog stuff all over his face. Get my favorite gnome back. How you expect me to win that bingo? I fuck. This is a white world, and I'm supposed to be living in it, right?" So. He calls me, he's like, brother, if you see this bulldog, we got an APB on him. Mm -hmm. It's time, brother. It's time. Now I know what the Nortenos are talking about. These dudes are different. I said, no, bulldogs are actually fucking with the biz. Not this one, brother. Not this particular one, <laughs> right? So about three, four days later, they catch him. Dwarfwood, Hurley, and fucking, they're cruising around in a fucking, in fucking Hurley's big ass Tonka truck. And they catch this bulldog and they beat the motherfucking dog paws out of him, right? Um, and then a week later, the bulldog comes back with some dogs from Fresno and they beat the dog shit out of ropes. This shit went back and forth. It was a bulldog fucking tweaker white guy thing going on in Merced for a minute. Right. And meanwhile, Roach is calling me. Yeah. The fucking bulldogs are good. Yeah. 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 He knocked my tooth out. I was like, you don't have no tooth. Yeah. Well, he knocked fucking the gum out, brother. <laughs> right. Um, anyways, he met the bulldog. It was crazy. Now me and the bulldog went on several adventures. So we're going to get into those later on. But that was the first time that I met Superdog with Roach. I'll tell you this. They became worst enemies. Even worse than the Asians and Roach. Roach, did, it was like, even we became enemies. No one got along with Roach for very long. Because he would fucking just cat out. He would just tweak out. He'd be like, hey, brother, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're the camarada, man. You're the one. You, I fuck with you. I fuck, I fucking hate you, Mexican. Like, what? <laughs> right? With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the fucking video of the day. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Heavy's going to be the head that wears the crown. I'm going to continue to strive for struggle, struggle, and strive for what I truly believe in. That's the betterment of all people. Telling, giving you guys the best entertainment I possibly can. And telling you every fucking thing I say is true in these stories. That bulldog was ragged. I've met some better chatos. Good, solid dogs. I got dogs that I fuck with to this day. I call a bulldog. He calls me every morning like, what's happening, bro? Good morning. One of those días. Yeah, this wasn't one of them. This guy, I don't even know if he was really a Fresno bulldog. I mean, he knew some people. This guy was like a tweaker that thought he was a bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> the gun.